This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for November 8, as we celebrate the Feast of Blessed John Dunn Scotus Day. A humble man, John Dunn Scotus has been one of the most influential Franciscans through the centuries. Born at Dunn's in the county of Berwick, Scotland, John was descended from a wealthy farming family. In later years, he was identified as John Dunn Scotus to indicate the land of his birth, Scotia is the Latin name for Scotland. John received the habit of the Friars Minor at Dumfries, where his uncle Elias Dunn's was superior. After novitiate, John studied at Oxford and Paris and was ordained in 1291. More studies in Paris followed until 1297, when he returned to lecture at Oxford and Cambridge. Four years later, he returned to Paris to teach and complete the requirements for the doctorate. In an age when many people adopted whole systems of thought without qualification, John pointed out the richness of the Augustinian Franciscan tradition, appreciated the wisdom of Aquinas, Aristotle, and the Muslim philosophers, and still managed to be an independent thinker. That quality was proven in 1303, when King Philip the Fair tried to enlist the University of Paris on his side in a dispute with Pope Boniface VIII. John Dunn Scotus dissented, and was given three days to leave France. In Scotus's time, some philosophers held that people are basically determined by forces outside themselves. Free will is an illusion, they argued. An ever practical man, Scotus said that if he started beating someone who denied free will, the person would immediately tell him to stop. But if Scotus didn't really have a free will, how could he stop? John had a knack for finding illustrations his students could remember. After a short stay in Oxford, Scotus returned to Paris, where he received the doctorate in 1305. He continued teaching there and in 1307 ably defended the Immaculate Conception of Mary that the university officially adopted his position. That same year the minister-general assigned him to the Franciscan school in Cologne where John died in 1308. He is buried in the Franciscan church near the famous Cologne Cathedral. Drawing on the work of John Dunn Scotus, Pope Pius IX solemnly defined the Immaculate Conception of Mary in 1854. John Dunn Scotus, the subtle doctor was beatified in 1993. Thank you.